will be Batshulin Akbayar, wrestling in blue for Russia, will be Ramazan Samsutdinov. Akbayar and Samsutdinov going at it here at 70 kilos. Batshulin calling for a timeout, poking the eye, inadvertently poking the eye. Akbayar of Mongolia, he is a 2013 Mongolian Open champion. He was third at the Dan Kolov, 2013 Dan Kolov tournament, which is in Bulgaria. In 2011, he was third at the Asian Championships. Sham Sutdinov, second at the 2014 Avon Yerigen Grand Prix. And he was a champion at the 2011 Henry Deglon Challenge, which takes place in France. A lot of hand fighting coming here between Ankbayer and Shamsutdinov. Fighting for, for position here. Trying to get control, trying to create a shot, trying to create some offense. Pass 70 on Ankbayer. Ooh, nice leg sweep, leg trip there by Ankbayer of Mongolia. Jam Sutanov looking for a leg tap there, or knee tap. And here comes the second pass safety call. That's going to be a caution on one. Actually, no, it'll be a 30 second shot clock. Should um, Alkbuyer not score, it'll be a caution and one. One point for the push out for Alkbuyer, Mongolia. Mongolian coming up 1-0 here. Shamsut Dinoth was coming for trying to get a takedown on the edge of the mat. Stepped out. Gave up a point. Wasn't necessary for him to try to get the takedown as he did have Ankbayer on a shot clock. And look at this action here as we have a nice scramble. At no points for either wrestler. About 25 seconds remaining in the first period. Stands right across from us up in the stands. Looks like we have a small Mongolian cheering squad going on up. Early on, they have a lot to cheer for as Mongolian is giving Russia the best that they can handle right now.
middle, period two. Ankbar leading Shamsutdinov, Shamsutdinov of Russia, 1-0. Push off for Ankbayer. Shamsutdinov a little bit upset there. Looks like he was complaining about some hands to the face. So he's staring down the mat official as Ankbayer shot in and pushed him out. Thrust was being warned about the hands to the face. Ankbar pretty much being on the defensive here. Here comes another passivity call. That is his, that is his third. That will put him again on the shot clock. Last time he was on the shot clock, he did score. Let's see if he is able to repeat history again. Kind of questionable, they were calling a fourth pass there even though the shot clock's on. Matt Chairman's gonna have to explain something to him. That official and judge had to be explained that there's actually a 30 second clock on, so Calm Pass City wasn't needed. About five seconds remaining in the shot clock. Ooh, Sham Shimdinov getting a little mad there. Does receive a point for the 30 second shot clock. Akbar not scoring. 55 seconds remaining in the match. Nice, nice counter attack by Ankbar. Taking Champ Sutanov to his back. Scores four points, I believe. 30 seconds remaining in the period. Looking to see what the points that were awarded. Four, four points were awarded for that. It was not a takedown, it was a feet to back. Ankbar is going to get some blood time. Unlimited blood time, as long as he's able to continue, they'll clean up the blood. Mongolian coach came out to wipe off the blood, but that's not protocol. He was sent back to the corner. Head trainer, Jim Porter, comes out, cleans up the mess. He's a pro at this.
as the legends continue. Here we go, 20, about 20 seconds remaining. Jamsut Danov coming on strong. Short time here. 15 seconds remaining about. Akbar holding on, defending well. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Akbayar is going to come away with a 6-1 victory. That's going to give Mongolia a 3-1 lead. An impressive lead here at the World Cup. Looking to get an upset. Coming up next, 74 kilos. Wrestling in the red for Mongolia will be Kuryevjav Unerbat in the blue for Russia. That will be Ahmed Gadzi Magomedov.